my god, I can't wait to play this. I'm so excited. I've waited so long for this game to come out. <sighs> okay, here it goes. What? What the hell is that? What the hell is Sonic Boom? I just went all the way to Best Buy, woke up at the ass crack of dawn, I went all the way to Best Buy, set everything up on my Wii U, I got all my fucking GameCube controllers out and everything, and now I can't even play the game. Well, there must have been some kind of mix up at the factory or something, this is ridiculous. This is absolute bullshit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play an old game, whatever. Alright, how about Tetris Attack? That's a fun one. God, these old cardboard inserts were so hard to get out. What the hell? Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, either someone's playing some big elaborate prank on me, or I've just gone completely off the deep end. But I swear I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm just stressed out. I probably just need to relax. I'll make a nice cup of tea and watch my Game Chaser Season 1 DVD. Those chodes and their crazy antics always put me in a better mood. Let's pop this in. What? No. No, 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 no! Just breathe. You're not crazy. Everything's gonna be fine. When the concept art for the new character designs of Sonic and his friends was first revealed, I was immediately outraged, as I'm sure everyone else was. But I knew that even though they wrapped themselves in toilet paper and Knuckles apparently neglected leg day, that didn't necessarily mean that Sega would put out yet another terrible Sonic game. I mean, lots of people loved Generations and Colors, and even Lost World didn't get too much backlash. Granted, it would have been pretty hard to lower the bar any further than they did back in 2006. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I thought the game was gonna be good or anything, but no one, and I mean, like, literally no one could have predicted this. Sonic Boom! Rise of Lyric! Okay, I'm just gonna come right out and say this before anything else. I know you've all heard how bad this game is by now, but it has to be one of the worst modern games I've ever played in my entire life. I know when a game gets a lot of flack, it usually becomes the cool thing to hate on it, and everyone jumps on the bandwagon. But I can say, wholeheartedly that every bit of shit that's been talked on this game has not been said unjustly. Now you know you're in for a real treat when frames start dropping at the fucking title screen. The first thing I noticed upon trying to start the game was that it was not recognizing my Wii U Pro Controller. Even though it says it's supposed to right on the back of the box. I started a new game file and literally the first thing to happen as the cutscene began was audio started skipping and frames started dropping. This is one of Sonic Boom's many innovative new features. Just look at how bad the frame rate gets during the corkscrews on speed segments. And don't forget the random stutter when entering new areas. This is totally unacceptable, and I'm sure some people who don't know any better are gonna blame the Wii U for not being powerful enough or something stupid like that, but Nintendo's been putting out tons of games lately, and they've all been running at 1080p 60 frames a second, so this is ridiculous. I drifted in and out while attempting to pay attention to Sonic Boom's terrible plot, but it goes something like this. A long ass time ago, some giant snake monster named Lyric wanted to kill everyone and replace them with robots, so Sonic, or an ancestor of Sonic, or whatever the fuck, Ganondorf his ass into a prison chamber where he was petrified for like a bajillion years, so Sonic accidentally stumbles upon a temple that has his goofy ass Mickey Mouse hand printed on the door, and he goes inside. He finds Lyric and accidentally frees him. Lyric is super pissed and wants revenge on Sonic, and also wants to carry out his original plan. So now it's up to the primary color gang to find a bunch of crystals or whatever, which can apparently put a stop to him. The story's fucking dumb, so there you go. Alright, so first off, way too dramatic for the opening of a Sonic game. Second, what the actual fuck is even going on? Oh, alright, so the game is pulling a Seinfeld and showing us what happens later on first. Confusing and unnecessary, but I get it. I guess. Another cutscene starts and they're on Eggman's tail, typical for a Sonic game, but all I can seem to focus on is the background, which seems to be comprised of terrible low-res textures slapped on jagged polygons. Even the leaves on the tree collectively make up an obvious shape. And this isn't exclusive to the cutscenes. The entire game looks as though it was developed for the PlayStation 2. They waste no time before vomiting out the cheesy banter, which is garnished throughout the entire game, and apparently one of Knuckles' new abilities is dyslexia. 
All right, so you take control of Sonic in this stupid speed section where all you do is dodge things, much like the free-to-play Sonic Dash mobile game. And the funny thing about that is that Sonic Dash actually kind of looks better. It's in these sections that the terribly erratic frame rate really shows itself, and trust me, this shit ain't pretty. It actually started to give me a headache. During the game's first free-roaming platforming section, you'll soon start to notice that your ring count never exceeds 100, but yet there's rings scattered literally fucking everywhere. They serve no real purpose because if they deplete completely and you die, you respawn pretty much right where you left off, with no real consequences, as this game doesn't run on a life system. The game is a Frankenstein cornucopia of a bunch of different genres, including platforming, puzzle, hack and slash, exploration, even a shoot 'em up thing. The game combines numerous styles of gameplay and does them all badly. For example, 75% of this entire game is comprised of puzzles, or at least that's what the developers want you to think, because these puzzles are nothing more than locate a green button and press it, which is not only not difficult to do at all, but it's tedious and not fun. And to make matters worse, Sonic and his friends are constantly making observations about the green buttons, telling me that maybe I should press the button. So not only are you giving me a shitty and easy task to do to progress in the game, but you're now insulting my intelligence by assuming that I wouldn't be able to deduce that perhaps I should should press the fucking giant glowing button to proceed, even though you've had me do it 458,000 fucking times already. And that's most of the game! Or at least a big portion of it. Big Red Button successfully managed to make a game about big green buttons. Can someone please explain to me how the fuck this is a puzzle? I think we need to follow the correct sequence to unlock some. I know, Tails! I can fucking see that! You know how I know? The floor is lighting up! AS I WALK ON IT! No way... crazy... So when you aren't doing any of that shit, you're mashing the attack button to dispatch any enemies that come your way. You fight the same group of robot enemies throughout the entire game, and each fight is more boring and uninspired than the last. The combat system has absolutely no strategy involved whatsoever. You essentially just mash buttons until all the enemies are gone. Super fun. So Sonic Boom does a super great job at explaining absolutely nothing. They throw you into this new world with zero backstory. Are we just supposed to assume that each character's backstory is the same as before? And if that were the case, what the fuck was the point of even redesigning the characters and playing it off as a separate universe? You aren't told where you are, why, how, nothing. The game's story is an allegory for the fact that Sonic Boom lacks any identity at all, and it doesn't take long to realize that this game is just one big, convoluted, boring mess, and I haven't even gotten into the glitches and bugs. The most famous glitch by far is the Knuckles Infinite Jump, which can be used to completely break the game and finish it in less than an hour. The glitch was discovered so fast that only days after the game's release, there were already countless YouTube videos of players demonstrating it, and that's only the beginning. I ran into so many other glitches and bugs that I couldn't mention all of it in this video video if I tried. Did anyone even test this? Sonic Boom's levels are connected by a vast and barren hub world. Towns and areas filled with a whole lot of nothing and only a handful of NPCs are strewn about, with no purpose other than to task you with boring and tedious side quests to ultimately obtain power-ups that don't do much of anything. The hub world is expansive and confusing, and half the time I have no fucking idea where I'm even supposed to go. And that's called bad conveyance. It is so fucking easy to get lost in this game, it's insane. And you would think that a kid's game wouldn't be this abstract in conveying its objectives, but <laughs> nope. Hey, what's this game gonna be rated? 10 plus, it's for little kids. All right, let's make it as confusing as fucking possible. In most of the footage I captured, I'm pretty much just walking around in a fucking circle until I'm ripping my goddamn hair out in frustration. <laughs> Hell, I may even drown myself, which in this game conveniently takes nothing more than a quick dip of the foot. All right, so when Sonic and the gang aren't talking about how much they love rings or pointing out another goddamn bounce pad, which is clearly right in front of your face, they're spewing out corny one-liners, which even a six-year-old wouldn't find funny. There's no time like the present. Wait, there are presents? No. I honestly really don't even need to shit on this game because it shits on itself. I mean, it's not even finished. It's a goddamn mess that's riddled with glitches. Take this for example. There's this one section in the game, which, which is a fucking nightmare by the way, where you control a boat. You steer with the left analog stick and fire missiles, water, or ice with the right analog stick. Once again, they've tried to fuse in yet another genre, but you know what? If that's truly the artistic vision that they had for this game, then so be it. It's their game and any feelings I may have about it is just completely subjective. Here's the problem. It doesn't fucking 
can work and it's broken just like the rest of the game. The steering is sloppy and even though the game gives me full 360 degree control of my aim, it's so unresponsive that it almost never fires in the direction I'm aiming, leading to unfair deaths and premature baldness. My last death in this stage almost drove me to stop playing. But then something magical happened. I got hit with a missile. My boat sank, and I died. But for some reason, I still cleared that part of the stage and made it past the checkpoint. Sonic and his friends proceeded to cheer and celebrate while sinking to their watery grave. Since the game never registered a death, I was completely invincible for the rest of the boat segment, and I was able to just fire away all willy-nilly. So while writing this script, I did get a chance to try out the 3DS version, and while I wasn't exactly having the time of my life, that game is at the very least playable. I can't say I'd enjoy playing it through to the end, but I can see how a little kid who likes Sonic might get some kind of fun out of it. It may be mediocre, but at least that game is finished, probably due to the fact that it was made by an entirely different developer. The thing about Sonic Boom is this. Yes, it is riddled with glitches and bugs, the game is totally broken, it has a terribly low and erratic frame rate, Knuckles looks absolutely ridiculous, the dialogue is extremely corny and badly written, and yes, the story is completely fucking stupid and almost nothing is explained, but I could and would ignore all of that and potentially forgive all of the previously mentioned issues the game has if I was at the very least having fun while playing it, but I wasn't and I didn't. That is Sonic Boom's absolute biggest flaw. The game is just outright not fucking fun. Every stage I entered, every Every enemy I fought, it all just felt like I was going through the motions. The experience I had while playing this game was me just constantly hoping the current stage I was on would end, and not due to hard difficulty, but due to sheer boredom. A video game should never, ever, ever get boring. That completely defeats the purpose of playing a video game. And that's all this game was. Boring. It's a game about pushing green buttons and mindlessly mashing the attack button on your controller, all while listening to Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy inappropriately blurt out random shit through the course of every level and verbally acknowledge literally every goddamn thing they see like a baby learning how to talk. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I need to go to church so I can purge this demon from my soul.